Hi mga kanayan. So this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip Nayan. Wow. So, in today's topic, no, we will talk about the special right triangle, the 30, 60, and 90 degrees special right triangle. So, let's start. So, this is an example of equilateral triangle or equiangular triangle. Pag sinabi natin equilateral triangle, no, all sides are equal. So, ibig sabihin, ang sukat dito ay equivalent sa sukat dito at ang sukat dito sa baba. Kung 2 ang sukat niyan, no? Siyempre, 2 rin ang sukat nito. Dito naman ay 2 units din. Kasi nga, equilateral sila. Kapag equiangular naman, no? So, ibig sabihin, the same ang kanilang angles, no? So, ang total number ng angle sa isang triangle is 180 degrees. So, dahil tatlo ang ating angles dito, so, di-divide natin yan sa 3. So, bawat isa ay mayroong 60 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 60 degrees. Ito naman ay 60 degrees. May angle by sector tayo, ibig sabihin this is 90 degrees degrees. So, 60 degrees din sa taas, kaya yung by sector hatiin yan, ibig sabihin yung isa 30, yung isa naman ay 30. So, this is 30 degrees. Ito naman ay 30 degrees. Kaya, nabuo itong 30, 30 degrees. Ito yung kalahati niya, no? Yan ay tinatawag na 30 degrees, 60 and 90 degrees. So, ang sukat ulit ng kanyang sides, no? Ito ay 2 so, ibig sabihin, kung totoong buo, meron tayong 1 unit dito, meron din tayong 1 unit dyan. So, ang hahanapin natin is yung side na to, ano yung kanyang sukat, yung mahati sa kanya. So, we will use the, again, the Pythagorean theorem. What is Pythagorean says na, na C squared is equivalent to A squared plus B squared. Eh, itong hypotenuse na to, this is our C, no, pinaka mahaba. So, this is our A, ang hahanapin natin is B. So, ibig sabihin, ang 2 squared is equivalent to 1 squared plus B squared, no? So, what is 2 squared? This is 4 equals 1 plus B squared. So, 4 minus 1 equals B squared. So, 3 is equivalent to b squared. Tanggalin natin yan, yung square root niya, no? So, b is equivalent to square root of 3. So, meaning, ang sukat na itong side na to is square root of 3. So, ngayon, meron na tayong 30, 60 by 90 na special right triangle. So, ngayon, kukunin natin yung ating 6 trigonometric ratios. So, babalik na naman tayo sa word na soka toa. No? So, uunahin natin yung 30 degrees. So, sign 30 degrees no? is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. So, 30 degrees, ano opposite niya? Opposite niya is 1. Ang hypotenuse longest side is 2. So, 1 half. No? So, cosine 30 degrees is the adjacent, katabi niyang side, no? So, square root of 3, adjacent over hypotenuse, over hypotenuse, which is 2. So, tangent, 30 degrees, no? Is 1 over, no? Square root of 3. So, yan yung opposite over the adjacent ng 30 degrees. Again, no? Square root of 3 may square root tayo sa denominator. Multiply natin yan ng square root of 3 over square root of 3. So, yan ay 1 square root of 3 over 
3. Kasi square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Now, a square root of 9 is 3. So, yan yung ating sine 30 degrees, cosine 30 degrees, and tangent 30 degrees. So, paano uli hanapin yung another radius, no? So, reciprocal nyo lang, no? So, ang ating cosecant, 30 degrees is reciprocal nito, no? 2 over 1 or simply as 2, no? What is our second 30 degrees? Ang second 30 degrees ay 2 over square root of 3. So, mag-multiply natin yan ng square root of 3. Square root of 3. So, equivalent yan ng 2 square root of 3 over 3. So, yan yung ating second. Ang atin namang tangent, no? Tan ah, cotangent. Cotangent. 30 degrees. Cotangent. 30 degrees. No? So, ang cotangent 30 degrees ay yung reciprocal nito. So, ano ba ang reciprocal nito? Is square root of 3. No? Square root of 3 over 1 or just simply square root of 3. So, yan yung 6 trigonometric ratios ng 30 degrees. Gets? Okay. So, punta naman tayo dito sa 60 degrees. What are the sine? 60 degrees. So, equivalent yan ng opposite over adjacent. Ang opposite niya is square root of 3 over uh, opposite over hypotenuse rather, no? Over 2. So, that is the sine 60 degrees. What is cosine? 60 degrees. Cosine 60 degrees is 1 over 2. No? So, adjacent over hypotenuse. What is tangent? 60 degrees. So, ang tangent 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 1 or simply square root of 3. No? So, yung six, uh, 3 other ratios naman. No? So, cosecant cosecant, 60 degrees, so, reciprocal nito, so, 2 over square root of 3, multiply by square root of 3, square root of 3, to rationalize, so, 2 square root of 3 over 3. What is second? 60 degrees, so, second 60 degrees is 2 over 1, reciprocal nito, no, so, or, just simply 2. What is the cotangent? 60 degrees. So, ang cotangent 60 degrees is 1 over square root of 3. So, multiply natin yan ng square root of 3. Square root of 3. So, yan ay square root of 3 over 3. So, these are the 6 trigonometric ratios ng angle na 60 degrees. So, ngayon naman, try evaluate, no? I-evaluate natin. Ano ba yung sign 60 degrees using our uh, Casio, no? Calculator. So, sign 60 degrees. So, sign 60 degrees, eto, makikita nyo yung video, just uh, uh, press sign 60 degrees, tapos equal sign. So, eto ay merong 0. Point for decimal places tayo, no? 8, 6, 6, 0. What is cosecant 60 degrees? So, cosecant 60 degrees, no? So, dahil wala sa calculator ang cosecant, so, dadaan muna kayo sa sign 60 degrees. Pindutin nyo muna is the sign, no? Press sign. Tapos, 6, 0, tapos, equal sign. So, makukuha nyo is 0 0.8660 pero hindi yan yun, no? sign yun. So, para maging cosecant 60 degrees siya, no? pindutin nyo yung ganitong symbol, no? then press equal sign. So, yan ay merong 
four seven so yan na yan yung cosecant sixty degrees so kaya naman no try nyo sa calculator what is the cotangent thirty degrees number one and number two what is second sixty degrees and try to put your answer no in the comment section below so that's all no for this video so don't forget to like tapos share natin sa iba yung mga gustong makilangan mga ngilangan ng ganitong topics and then don't forget to subscribe so that's all thank you po no so good luck soldier